Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fiasco Knots for October, the greatest month of the year. Halloween. Huber's got the bangs. <laughs> You're getting long, Huber. Look at this. Look at that. With, Hide behind with your, this. With your hair like that, you look like a like a kid in a slasher movie. Yeah. I could be Perfect. in a boy band or an anime killer. <laughs> Why not? It's definitely, I'm definitely enjoying like it's like Beatles vibes for me, Ooh. but you're right. It's like Sid Vicious, but with High shorter praise. hair. <laughs> the, I praise, the, I praise. The Beatles were all anime serial killers, so <laughs> yep. that's confirmed in the movie <laughs> Chapter <laughs> Twenty Seven. No. Um, <laughs> it was so bad. Not so my boys. Bad. Not my boys. Such a bad movie. Uh, anyway. Crash uh, movie. So uh, we are going to do, I'm trying a new setup this time, so I have to click three things before sharing the screen, but uh, we're going to dive right in here. Uh, I'm going to share the screen. Hi I've decided, wait, I've decided yeah. before we do anything that I'm going to play an old man named Harrison. Great. Harrison. <laughs> Love to see it. All right. So I'm sharing my screen with you guys and uh, the people at home can see it. We are doing Hellmouth High by v Brian Vanderveen. Vanderveen. Uh, just found it on the official uh, Fiasco Playsets website and it's Hellmouth High gave us Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes. I know, totally. Huber, you love Buffy. so I do. do you? One of the all-time greats. Oh, he loves that buff. Nice. No question. Um, all right, Huber, uh, in honor of your love for Buffy, why don't you read us this intro part? Sure. Here in this sleepy coastal suburb, we have high quality public education, easy beach access, 330 days of sunshine a year, and seemingly no good right to complain. But the living here isn't exactly easy. The jerk jocks and alpha bitches make their <laughs> life, make life unbearable for anyone who doesn't fit their narrow definition of cool. Then there's the truly weird crap, the disappearances, the exsanguinations, the good. demon the demon possessions, the ancient curses, and all the damn vampires. So you keep your head down, mind your own business, and hope the hyenas don't smell your fear. Jeez. <laughs> you let your friends keep you sane, the mo that motley assortment of freaks and geeks bound together by mutual awkwardness. And maybe, just maybe, if you don't fuck up too bad, you might score a little respect Score that winning touchdown. Score with the homecoming queen. Hell, you might even make it out of here alive. Nice Movie intro. Night. Buffy really the good. Vampire Slayer. Carry the faculty. Do ginger snaps. Lost boys. All great. Ginger snaps. Shout out, dude. <laughs> Underappreciated. Yes. Not by this fellow. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. All right. So the turn order we are using... Uh, matches the main shot. So, Huber, you're going to go first, then me, then Ben, then Jess. Uh, happy to have all of you here. I'm very excited about this. This will be very fun. Uh, so, but first, oh, I almost forgot. We must roll in the dice. Which Assign we do our fate. digitally. Yep. Assigning our fate. Tell me when, Ben. Tell me when to stop. When? When, okay. Ben? When, Ben? <laughs> but when? But when, but yeah, it looks but like when. a great roll. This is a pretty good roll. It's we when. got five ones, two twos, one three, one four, five fives, and two sixes. I like <laughs> that's a zesty roll. Uh, all right. So, uh, Huber, you're first. Uh, you can pick a big category of relationship for yourself and me. Or me and Ben, Ben and Jess, Jess and Huber. Um, and we've got friends, freaks, geeks, Jess is, go social up, go set, up. suspicious, and supernatural. Ooh, Ooh. Supernatural. Yeah. Uh, Jess and I are friends. Okay. We're that friends. Is a one. Yeah. It's a lot more than we can say for real life. I'm going to put them oh. on the bottom. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I was going to be <laughs> nice today, and it didn't work yet. <laughs> Huber plus Jess equals friends. Okay. Now it's my turn, I think. Yep. Uh, so now I can fill in their, uh, friend, their category with a lower category, or I can look around. 
And let's see, what are the... So it's me and Ben have a relationship. Huber and I, Ben and Jess, Jess and Huber. Ben and Jerry. I feel like... I feel like Huber and I have got to be freaks. <laughs> freaks. <laughs> freaks. <laughs> freaks and geeks. Okay, so Huber and I are freaks. Ben, you can choose... Um, now to either fill in the Huber Ian relationship or the Jess Huber relationship or make the relationship for your yourself and myself or Jess and Huber or uh, Huber and me no whoever Reek, my lord you Huber, humor me for a second you and it I or freak. you and Jess <laughs> sorry can you go down to the supernatural one okay I think I think Jess and I have a supernatural, su- okay, supernatural thing going. I like I like where we're heading. Yeah, vampire enthrall is pretty good. <laughs> Slayer. All right, so supernatural for. Wait, I should have done it like that. There, that's why this I got so confused. Teen diabolist. Does that mean that you just believe in the devil? Like, what is that? I Do guess. You yeah, a diabolist. Is it? Diabolist. Okay, Jess, uh, the Ian Ben relationship doesn't have a big boy category, and none of the big other ones boy. have small. Why can't it be a big girl? It is a big girl, but she identifies as a boy with an eye. I understand that. All but also well. a girl. She's gender fluid, so she what has boy the... days and girl days. Got it. What are the dice that we're dealing with here? Um, we got a lot of fives. A yeah, shitload of fives. Um, One six. One two, one three, one four. <laughs> okay, let's four do. Let's ones. do. Um, suspicious. That is that five. Yes. Yeah, that's five. Suspicious for you. For you too. Okay. Just kill it now. So, oh, that's. Ugh. My note taking is all bugaboo right now. I'm definitely doing my notes in a different way than I ever have, and I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it this way. It's super sus. Okay. How do you guys feel about like the new slang that's happening, like Everyone's sus, saying or, sus all the time? or like yeet, or like pog? Like, how's that going for you guys? It's fine. The, you like it? The one, the only one that I think is really annoying is ochre. <laughs> that's been that? in the zeitgeist for a while, though, because oh of yeah, yeah, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I, I never see that on stream. No, nobody ever did. Oh, I didn't know we were talking about stream slang. I meant stream Super slang. Ian, like, I think sus Ian, and yeet. Yeah, sus is great. Yeet is fine. Whatever. I think it's pretty funny. Do you guys, are you guys doing Fall Guys? We, not really. No, we didn't. We, we didn't. have a couple of times. We're not like yeah. full-time streamers, you know? No, I know, but you guys got to try games. That's your fucking job. I've yeah. tried games. I've tried them. Who's it on? Is it on me? Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, my notes got all bugaboo, so I'm just trying Jess to- Jess is a slayer and Ben. Jess and Ben. Slayer and sidekick. Whoa! Have my eye on that. It's done. So, okay, we're so not trying to sl- slay each other. We are- The slayer comrades. is like Buffy, dude. Like, yeah. you are- The slayer is the one who kills all of the freaking- Dude, I'm happy to be a Like, sidekick slayer. is like yeah. Willow, or- Spunky, so like Xander, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> Monster Hunter. Oh, he's cute. I remember him now. Yeah, he's a cutie. <laughs> what was the Ian and Ben relationship? Suspicious. Suspicious. And then the Ben and... Oh, okay. The Ben and Jess is supernatural. Yeah. And has now been filled out. And what uh, you did it with... Uh, Slayer and Spunky Sidekick? Yes. Okay. So, okay. That's a good pick, Huber. Slayer. Into every generation, a Slayer is born. <laughs> dude, I, I recently rewatched the movie, you know? And yeah, I dude. fucking love that movie. Love I, that movie. I, like, was raised on that movie. Can I ask you a question? What was that? Who decided what? What? Huber, Huber made that Huber was did that. Slayer and Huber sidekick. made Ben and Jess the Slayer and Spunky sidekick. I know, but yeah. what's next? That's me. Did, some, 
Oh, you didn't decide yet. I, I haven't done did. it yet. Um, cause my notes got all bugaboo and then we were talking about Buffy. Got it, got it, got it. Um, drama club superstars. Uh, Helmuth High's only out gay couple would be pretty funny. Wow. Oh my god. We have one four. Oh wait, amateur paranormal investigators. Ooh. I mean, that's part of the same group, right? It's def we're definitely doing Buffy right now. Yeah, so should should Huber and I be Burger Town co-workers, the only gay couple, or amateur paranormal investigators? They amateur great. paranormal investigators. Nice. Ooh. Okay. okay. Uh, investigators. So Huber and I are amateur paranormal investigators. <laughs> okay. Ben's turn. Paranormal. Uh, so we need a fill in for the suspicious and the friends. Which one? Go do down you want to, to the at? suspicious. Okay. <laughs> that five is pretty good. We got a lot of fives. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That is very good. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's Ben and myself. We are good kid running with a bad crowd and concerned sibling. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> funny. Okay, so that leaves... Uh, who, that leaves the friends category for... For you to fill out, yeah. For Uber and Io. You and Huber, yep. Uh. <laughs> we, uh, oh yeah, we forgot to be reading them out loud. But whatever. okay, uh, friends, we have BFS since grade school, transfer student, and angsty loner. Friends by default. After school buddies, detention regulars, guy and platonic gal pal. Uh, in a band, I mean guy and platonic gal pal. We can actually show people that that's possible, Huber. Sick. Sick. <laughs> but that doesn't need to mean. Be in a relationship. Wait, do people that, not believe that it's possible? A lot of people don't. Yeah, don't. everything is always shipped. Everything. And you know what? That doesn't mean you can't have a little flame. <laughs> Just because it's platonic doesn't mean there isn't hope. <laughs> so we're buds. <laughs> okay. Wait. All right. You can be platonic fuck buddies, I guess. <laughs> we don't. No. <laughs> We're just buds. All okay. right. Um, so we need a need. Uh, Hubert, it's your turn. You can. You want to do a need, an object, or a location? Hi. An object. Objects. My fave too. Uh, all right. So you got dangerous, mysterious, old, illicit, and odd and cool. Except the only numbers you have available to you are one, two, four, five, and six. So no threes. So no threes. So no old. Dang it. So we got dangerous, mysterious, illicit, odd, and cool. Let me see illicit. Chad Russell's sweet ride is really funny. <laughs> it's not right, but it's really funny. And what's six? Cool. Illicit. All right. Uh, and who gets that? Which relationship? Huber, Ian, Ian, Ben... The friends. Ben Jen. <laughs> oh yeah, Jess Huber would be pretty funny. It's his choice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Us. Yeah. It's really funny. All right. Cat cat cam. Hi, Peter Goose. Oh, you got a cat. I will do a need. Yeah. Um. Ooh, we might have... Actually, we might have... Well, whatever. A person's going to end up with two needs, probably. Uh, Choo-choo, ka -choo. I don't have a four. So one, two... To get into Chad Russell's backseat. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's funny. I love, I love the, like, characters built into the playset sometimes. Chad All right, so Russell. we've got to get into, to get out of, to get even, to get through, to get the truth, and... To get away. <gasps> get away. I want to 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 get away
want to fly away. I like how there's yeah. one about banging Chad Russell in like every single category. <laughs> there's to get away with Chad Russell for the weekend. And up here was to get into Chad Russell's back seat. <laughs> I guess that that doesn't necessarily mean you're banging him. Well, uh, it doesn't not. All right, let's see. No fours, no threes. I want to. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Uh, let's That's do it to get good. away. We usually avoid them. Uh, I'll give Huber and myself. Oh yeah, and then <gasps> Ben and Jess can have a need, and then and then that'll work out. It's so okay. Huber and I get the need to get away. We've got to. All right. Wait. What? What was the top category? What's the big girl category for you guys' relationship? Huber and Ian? Yeah. Freaks. Freaks. I wrote friends. We're I see. Freaks. We're freaks. You're freaks. Okay, cool. Um, but, you know, Trying the nice to... kind of freaks. We're an amateur paranormal Keep investigators. Word. Oh, I like it. I'm into it. I just need to be correct on my sheet. Um, okay, Ben, do you want to choose another need for you and Jess? Or do you want to choose a location for me and you? Take a look at the locations. All right. And these we usually read out just so we know what's what. Do you want to do that or do you want me to do that? Um, I can read them out. Do I, am I just reading out the big categories? Or? For now, we can read out the big ones. But, yeah, at some point we should read out them all. One town, two school, three field trip, four extracurricular, five sorid, six spooky. Let's be in a sorted location. Ooh. Sorted, okay. Everyone's feeling a little freaky today. I like it, yeah. All right, so I Ben and I... it's sorted, not sorted. My bad. Oh, whatever. Ben and I are in a sorted location. Sorted. Okay. Jess, um, you could fill in the little girl categories for all of those, or... Um, That's for you, too? Pick a need for you and Ben. So Ian and Ben are sorted... We're all, like, hitting the D now. Well, you got it, right? It's clear. For, for all you podcasters out there, um, can we look at the needs clause and whatever our, what is, what of our dice availabilities? One and two. Please. Burn wow. through those fives. We're going to get into or get out of. Yeah, we ate those fives for dinner. I want to. Sorry. That's going to be... That's in there. That's, that's, the, that's the, the, the song for prom this year. Hmm. We have room for uh, a, a special one, right? Or like a wild card in this? The last yes. one will be wild, but no, you can't use a wild for a top category. I understand. Category. Yeah. But so I want to see if, so in to get into, there's Hellmouth High, Cheerleading Squad, A Decent College, The Principal's Office Unseen, Chad Russell's Backseat, The Popular Crowd, Courtney Atherton's pants, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then to get out of is detention, an after-school job at Burger Town, the principal's office, this basement alive, your obligations, and this terrible curse. So why I'm saying that is it depends on what I choose here. We might want to use the wild card for one of these. Yeah. Is anyone is anyone leaning towards a wild card on, on one of these? Like something's funny or uh, good? I think all of them are sim about the same level. Is Basement Alive I don't hate? I don't like I don't hate Terrible Curse. It seems like Get Out Of would be the way to go then. Let's do that. Chad, then. Chad Russell's back seat seems pretty funny. That Listen, that doesn't mean I won't end up there. Yeah, we can get Chad Russell in there no, no matter what. As the, as the old man Harrison, let's be. <laughs> we gotta recruit Chad Russell. Yeah, Chad Russell's getting getting recruited. We're gonna recruit him. So wait, as we're trying to get him in the basement shield. alive? Uh, not yet, not so yet. So far it's know. just it's just to get out of for Ben and Jess. Okay. Slayer and sidekick trying to get out. That's good. That's good. That feels good. That's action. That's All right. That is. Yeah, that's actionable. All right. So Huber, your turn. You've got to fill in a baby category for our need to get away. Ben and my location sorted. Um, our need to get away. Uh, <laughs> ben and Jess's need to get out of or Jess and Huber's illicit object. 
Uh, and you only have ones until the. Let me see the listed object. You have a one, unless <laughs> one of these is amazing and we want to use a wild on it later. Um, illicit objects. The administrative, administrative password, password to school yep. records. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Yep. That's great. That's right. great. Illicit object. Jess and Huber. School passwords. Yep. Yeah. The administrative password. Uh, it's just admin. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, to school records. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my turn. I will look at... Hmm. Well, let's look at the sorted location. I want to say it so bad. <laughs> To get away. Damn it. All right. Subterranean punk squat is the Who number sings one. That? Is that Aerosmith? No, yeah. it's uh, <laughs> Lenny Kravitz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beneath the bleachers, closet in the faculty lounge. That's straight out of faculty. Oh, sorry. Facult lounge. Love the faculty, dude. I watched it, it just the other day. Up. Empty house while parents are away. Back alley behind the pit. Hellmouth Garen? Bluff local makeout spot. We could use I the, the subterranean to, punk squat. I will be quoting the faculty at some point. Will Ian be able to call it out? Time will tell. <laughs> Time will tell. You know it that well? I always quote like one or two lines from it. Okay. That's pretty. That's a, a pretty impressive track record. All right, so Ben and I's sorted location is the subterranean punk squat, which I guess is the, like, old cave that all the punk kids hang out in nice so at some point i guess maybe we have to enlist the help of the punks or we are punks or who knows all right um ben what's left there's a lot to keep track of yeah, yeah holy crap you gotta, this write, is sprawling. you gotta write everything down and especially i keep writing them in wrong locations i don't know Same. what's with me today that's your problem and not ours wow okay there's one every time you mean asshole? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So Ben, you can. You want to do Huber and my need to get away, or ben? our need to? Oh God, please. Or I'm ben sorry. and Jess's need I'm to get so out. I'm so sorry. Of, it's like it's I support it. I it's like getting louder. Yeah, every more time. and more shrill every <laughs> time. <laughs> really um, so, looking at God. the forbidden. Uh, one. The number one is from whatever is hunting you. That's yeah, pretty that's great. dope. Yeah, that's you and Huber. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, otherwise it's detention. But whichever one we no. don't, whichever one we don't use the one on, the other one gets a wild, so we can pick anything. I yeah. I, hunting whatever is hunting you. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, that's a pretty that's good. So good. It's and that so makes good. sense for amateur paranormal investigators. Oh my god, exactly. yeah, that, that does make sense. Uh, all right, to get away from to whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to change the name of that need yeah. from to get away to escape <laughs> to escape <laughs> escape whatever is. is hunting you to escape okay no that would essentially that would that changes the context that no, would mean that does, you're caught yeah. to flee that's true that's true flee that still to insinuates flee. the caught nature the post being caught to avoid, flee, yeah. or otherwise avoid. escape from. <laughs> avoid is the only one that su is suitable. Um, all right, so that I means... I want to avoid you. <laughs> so that so means you and I... I get from whatever is hunting us, yeah. And then, hunting, Jess, hunting. you get to use the wild on to get out of. And that's for Ben and Jerry's. Um, uh, this terrible curse is calling it. To me. Yeah, I like, Great. I like Let's that. Let's do it. All right. To get out of this terrible curse is the need that Ben and Jess have. Okay, so let's run it down. Huber, uh, what is your and my relationship? We. This is the test to see if your notes are well kept. Are freaks, paranormal investigators, Amateur, amateur, yeah. amateur, yeah. Amateur, yes, and we need to get away from something hunting us. From whatever is hunting us, yep. And uh, boom, Ben and I are suspicious 
Uh, one of us is a good kid with the bad crowd, and the other one is the concerned sibling. And okay. somehow we have a location that becomes, that is or becomes important to both of us that is sorted, and it is the subterranean punk squat. That actually fits perfectly with the good kid running with a bad crowd. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, you're right. Uh, ben and Jess. Ben, what uh, what is your relationship with Jess? We uh, we have a supernatural relationship, Slayer and a sidekick, <laughs> and uh, we need to get out of this terrible curse. So I'm wondering if that, because of the kid in mine, and the sidekick in yours, does that make you the kid? Not I really necessarily. Want to be the Slayer, though. What? Slayer. I really want to be the Slayer. <laughs> Slayer. Well, then you'd have to be the concerned sibling in ours. I could I, be I'd like be a child. Well, I was just about to say child Slayer, which sounds bad. But yeah, no, not not in that. Could be, <laughs> yeah, could be a Slayer that is a child. Um. Well, let's see what... Uh, Jess, what are you and Huber? Huber and I are friends. Totally platonic. There's nothing there. At least I'm oblivious to it. And uh, we have an illicit object in that we are the keepers or have discovered the administrative school password. Nice. I feel like if they're they're trying to discover the administrative password for the school records, that makes sense if one or both of them were kids, right? Well, Well, here's my pitch. I think none of us are older than high school. Here's my pitch. I think Ben and I are like the older ones and we've got, we're like entrenched in slaying and you're the slayer ben that's great if you want to be and i think ian you're getting into it because of huber he's like you're like so i think you're the younger so i'm a younger kid i think you're getting into i think you're the good kid getting into it and and the slayer's like no you shouldn't this is my job or something like that you know what i mean like so does that mean that huber just to connect all the dots does that mean that huber is a punk uh, amateur fan, paranormal investigator, or uh, doesn't necessarily be, have to be. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be that you got taken to the punk squad because, like, someone's like, "Oh, do you want to?" I got, you know what I mean. Like, let's put it this way: your your character's probably impressionable. Yeah. Yeah, I just. Kind I of also go have a everything. hard. Bo- I have a hard boiled edge because someone I was close with died from mysterious paranormal circumstances. <laughs> Did you just build that for yourself? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I want that. <laughs> I love it. You I can love, have it. I love it. Okay, so you three are maybe all in the same grade, and I'm younger than you. Just an, a year, even. I think we got to be seniors. I'm thinking like, you, you guys are seniors, and I'm a freshman. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> and I'm like, I've like been the good kid. Uh, and you suspect that your brother is doing something, and so you're like brother? trying to get in. The sibling. Oh, yeah. One of Ben, Your sibling ben is, is my, Ben. Ben is my sibling, and he's the Slayer, which makes so brothers? much sense. Or ben, ben is my sister. sibling, yeah, dude. So that, I think that totally tracks that you're trying to follow in the footsteps, and we're like, no, you're too young. But but Huber is like, no, oh, come on. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, I think yeah. it feels good. And again, I don't like overworking things at the top but i think it's good to clarify those things i guess all we need to know is uh if jess is the gal pal or the guy and if you say gal pal you're gonna be the gal pal yeah i'll be the gal pal named harrison who's 70 years old <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm gonna yeah, change can't, the can't be 70 years old but you could be named harrison <laughs> no 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 um so okay harriet. so harriet <gasps> harriet i <laughs> or you it's could so be good. the guy too. I don't want to be. <laughs> all right, I, all right. This is the only time I ever get to feel desirable in my life. Okay, so Aww. let it let it happen. I feel that makes me feel sad. That was the intended, yeah, el- elicitation. All right, so, all right, so everybody think of your name. Jess is man. The name Harriet. is so important. It really is. Hmm. Harriet Goodblood. Ooh. Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what happened? I was looking no down. Stretch. No oh, stretch. Oh, you just screamed. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to fly. <laughs> no oh, yeah. Oh. We like Goodblood? Is that funny? No. Yes. Okay. 
I'm going to use this moment to relieve myself. There's a built-in bathroom break in like three minutes. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't catch it. Didn't Didn't catch her in time. I think she just wanted to get away. Oh! Uh, ah! uh, <gasps> Huber or Ben, do you have a name yet? Yep. I do, yeah. Okay. My name's... Oh, I'll wait for her to get back, I guess. I mean, the show is still happening, so... Sure, could... My name is Lenny. Oh, my God. Uh, Huber, when I was thinking of names... <laughs> Uh, like earlier today, even before we shut this, I was thinking of like potential fiasco names, and I came up with Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, not going Lenny. with it, but uh, last name Lenny or no? Lenny K. Okay. Uh, just the letter K. Yep. Okay. Uh, ben, what's your character's name? My character's name is Ryan McCavery. Ooh, man, that's a good one. That is a good. How one. do you spell McCavery? Uh, I spelled it. M C and then capital C A V E R Y. Love it. Uh, my name is Benji Tewilliger. I'm a freshman. <laughs> Benji Tewilliger. Benji. That sounds like a like a, a freshman in like a 1950s sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm from the 50s. I, oh I, goodness. I uh, okay, so Huber's name is Lenny K. My name is Benji Tewilliger. Ben's name is Ryan McCav- McCavery with a v. Ryan McCavery, yeah. yeah. And Jess, your name is Harriet Goodblood. I'm sorry. How do you two not have the same last name? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. Uh, That's right. right. I can be McCavery. Okay. Wait. Huber's name is Lenny. Jess is Harriet. Love it. I love it. Benji McCaffrey. I'm a freshman. Yeah, I love it. Huh? Guys, will you change your name so I can... Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. All that and more in Act 1 of Fiasco Nuts, right after this sanctioned bathroom break that we've had in every single episode from the dawn of time. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I was. I tried to stop you. I was like, "Wait, there's a bathroom break in two seconds." I know there is. I had to go to the bathroom. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I had to go. I had a lot of water. He's not a cat. Hey, He's Blue. just a dummy. He's a dummy. Hey, Blue. Cats Hi, don't buddy. even understand their own names. That He does. He knows his name. Say his dope. name. Blue. Blue. They ignore us. <laughs> <laughs> you did not prove your point. <laughs> Hi, Blue. Hi. You know, he wants food. That's all his, his main That's focus is wants. right now. All right. Are we actually, are we ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Act two. Act one. Act. <laughs> we just skipped act, act one. <laughs> We're in act four. <laughs> Things are the the bus is on fire. We're careening down a cliff. <laughs> I've been in Chad's pants twelve times. Twelve times. She is Chad's pants. <laughs> uh, no, Act One. Here we go. Uh, Huber, it is your scene first. What is Lenny K up to? Uh, Lenny K and Benji are discussing foreign the, trade. The recent paranormal incident. With, what's the guy's name? Who? Chad. Oh, the fa- the 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 popular the guy. Back seat. Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Chad Russell. Chad Russell. The three of us. Okay. Are discussing paranormal activities. Okay. Uh, that have been happening more frequently. Look, Benji. This is how it always starts. Yeah. Lights flicker. Uh, the door slam shut, uh-huh. you know, subtle, these quiet little things, the these insignificant events happen, and then all hell breaks loose, and I just want to be prepared this time. Oh, man. I mean, 
last time, I don't know, maybe it was me, like, not, none of that happened. But I, I'm ready to go again. Are we going again tonight? We've got to go tonight. We, we need to investigate. Chad, what do you think about this? Uh, yeah, Chad. Uh, 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 Chad, I mean, you're like, so cool and popular. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, like, like, listen, I'm just trying to get into uh, Harriet's pants. So, like, whatever it'll take to, like, you, you like know, Harriet? I've got this. No, I don't. I've got, a, I got this bet, though, that, like, by homecoming, I can make her attractive. And then make her win homecoming queen, even though it's completely. You're, you're pulling uh, she's all that. Is that what that is? That's Chad, that, I don't even that's think she knows name. your name. Harriet's <laughs> everyone a good knows kid. my name. She, well, yeah, I suppose that's true. Listen, whatever gets me good in with her, if she's going to be there tonight, that all the better. I might get to even, you know, slip well, it in. Who knows? Jesus. Well, is she going to come to the uh, paranormal event with us? Lenny? I did tell her about it. You told... How many people know about this place? Oh, I mean, my friends know. There's like a blast out on our Slack for the cool kids in high school. Yo, it's very Is dangerous, Chad. I what have you done? That. Yeah, Chad, we've got like training. We've watched a lot of YouTube videos about how to be paranormal uh, investigators. Yeah, you know? I've played Phasmophobia. I know what I'm doing. Okay, toolkit and toolkit too. <laughs> you guys tool are pretty kid. cool. You guys are pretty cool. Listen, ain't no ghost gonna screw with Chad Russell. Have you seen the Stang that I drive? I literally can have a license plate that's like sixty nine because it's a sixty nine Stang. I saw, I saw that. That's pretty cool. It's very it cool. Is cool. And, and you know what? I hate sixty nine. <laughs> what, what is? I never. What is that? I never knew. What it's it like it's like not worth it let's put it that way no it's worth just it. funny solely on on the slack like you're like oh 60 60 dollars no 69 dollars <laughs> cool all righty benji <laughs> all right well i guess benji, i'll meet you there prepare. tonight what yo benji and uh j just keep a lookout on chad maybe he's uh well, Maybe I he's one of them. I don't know. Maybe he's possessed. Who the hell knows? This kid's you crazy. You think Chad's possessed? I don't know. Oh, um, you guys, hey, does it look like my unibrow's coming back? You have a unibrow? No. But you're so you cool and popular. That. Yeah, you got to tweeze it at least. Yeah, use those tweezers. I'm just asking. Like, it looks like one errant hair. Just tweeze can, it. Can I give a white tie to Jess, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's you your have scene. To, it's your scene, so I guess I'll give you a white tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to put all these. Oh, shit. Do you see Sorry. how big that cat is? Holy shit. He's so big, you guys. Hang on, Tonight. I just ruined our... I love how we're one scene in and Jess <laughs> is trying to get into her own pants. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> and now I understand why people are like, God, that episode's so thirsty. I'm really the problem. Yeah. I'll see you guys back here tonight. Okay. 9.30. Okay. Wait, we're I may or may school? not be there. Uh, if, if, if I get into Harriet's pants like ASAP, then I, there'll be no point. Jeez, you're so cool and popular, Chad. Good for you to know, Robert. Hey, Benji. Who's Benji? That's me. Hey, Benji? You? Yeah. Why are you nicknaming yourself Benji? I didn't... That's what my parents called us before they died in that tragic fire. Jeez. Okay. Ryan's been looking after me ever since. My big bro. He's in, oh, your, you, he's in your grade. Your dork of a brother. <laughs> I mean, Straight he, A McCaffrey. <laughs> he gets good A's. Good grades. So do I. Yeah, but he's also like a total loser. So and he, I think he's a virgin. So. Why don't you pump the brakes, Chad? All right? Just just cool it. Pump the brakes. Okay, don't Michael Huber. Don't be so Huber. rude. Don't be so... <laughs> <laughs> all right, I gave you a white dye, Huber. <laughs> Me? Yeah, it's your damn scene. Okay, all right. And then you give it to Jess. Oh, okay. you want. Yep, yep. Definitely. <laughs> if Did you want. get what you wanted? Yeah, he got what he wanted. He got me to cool. He got me to pump my brakes. <laughs> 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 Jeez. All right. Whoops. Gosh, now I messed that up. Um. All right. Good lord. My <laughs> my scene. Well, I guess it's that evening, and we're at the old uh, Terwilliger place, 
I'll use it. To win a guy. Um, and uh, it's the old haunted house at the end of the street. R- reported to be haunted, you know. Uh, Le- Lenny and I checked it out last night, and, and nothing happened to me that I noticed. Lenny thought he felt some temper- temperature drops. Um, Is it Lenny or Larry? Lenny. 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 Uh, so we're it's it's nine thirty p.m. The sun has set. We're at the the Tewilliger place, Tewilliger. um, and we're we're we've got all our gear. We're about to go in, and then, uh, Chad and like six of his friends roll in, um, and we're stoned. Yeah, and I don't we're know if Harriet's there or not. That's up to no, you. No, she is absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured as much. Um, uh, okay. All right, so this is like as you're coming down the street. We haven't noticed you yet. <coughs> All right, Lenny, are you ready? What was that? Yeah, I stole the. Uh, <laughs> I heard music. Did you hear? Yeah, what? Well, I don't hear anything. Oh. It sounds oh, yeah, like I do there's hear something. There's like it's getting closer. This hey, music is. If I stole some holy water from a from a church, am I going to hell? Probably. Well, uh, I, I have some holy water here. So. Oh no! It's, hey, what it's is that Chad. noise? It's Chad and his goons. Hey, do you like the subwoofer in my '69 Sting? It's it's a pretty. It was very loud. Yeah. Are are you guys high? <laughs> you look hot. I can Yo, smell I, it. Yeah. What is that smell? You guys, Lenny. You guys I don't know. Can, you guys, prissies. Does it matter? Uh, Yo, I heard this uh, house right here is giving out free food. What? what yeah. We don't, want, we don't want them in there with us, do we? Or this they... one right here. Wait. That one? Free you... food. The Twilliger house pizza? or the other house? The Twilliger house. Is it pizza? I don't know. They were, they said they were giving out free food, though. Uh, I guess we're going to have to scope it, bro. Let's all go together. All you're of us. Are we going to scope Wait. it, bros? Yeah, dude. Yeah, Lenny. dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Lenny, I've, dude. Got, I've got a bad feeling about this, Lenny. Yo, yo, let them go first. All right. Strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. So Chad and... If anything goes wrong, there's a lot of us. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Chad and his four goons go into the house before us, and we're about to walk in the door when we see... All of them just like explode in blood and viscera and guts <laughs> everywhere all over what? the house. What? On the inside of the house. What? And so Benji and Lenny just go like, Ugh! <laughs> and we run away. Yeah, gone. Um, but I'm, I am so terrified. I flee into the woods alone. Um, like I lost you. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I am lost and terrified as well. This will definitely be a black die for me. You fucker! <laughs> that was a good character. It was a you great character, but deal with it. but but hang on, D- hang on, Jess, because uh, as I was we, gonna kill him too. As we, yeah, <laughs> as no, but I'm here glad we go. You did it. Here we go. As we have, you know, we're gone. The camera slow dolly. It 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 turns back around. Slow dolly back up the steps of the house. Right, the blood and guts from the exploded teens is flowing out the front door and coagulates into the form of a young man who looks a little bit like Chad. At first, he doesn't have any skin, but you can tell that it's starting to kind of like form, but uh, it's imperfect. He looks like blotchy and bloody, um, and like the skin seems loose. It's like a skin suit around a bloody, shapeless mass of viscera and guts kind of hell raisery that's excellent excellently disgusting nice yeah. <laughs> I really um like that. scene cool. <laughs> nice cool 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 nice Love it. i'll give i'll give that to huber i guess sweet all right uh ben's scene what's ryan mccavery my big bro up to so uh ryan and Harriet come to the house and uh, they they have some intel on what is actually going on. Nice. I really I really think this is going to be like the case that cements you as the slayer in town. Harriet I am already the slayer. <laughs> 
I know, I right? I would not have gotten the family seal burned into my skin if I was not ready. <laughs> well... Would you like a smoke to ease the tension? <laughs> what? It's, it's what my family does. We smoke from pipes. And now that I am a, a real man within my McCavery household, <laughs> they have said that I can too smoke from the pipe. I feel like I'm supposed to advise you against doing something like that, especially as your sidekick. Like, no, I don't think you should smoke. Harriet. What? Look me in the eye right now. Stare, stare into my eyes. If you are afraid of silly things like lung cancer, <laughs> you will never stand a chance against the vampiric horde. <laughs> and these kids, we have to look out for these children. They think it's some spooky ghost going in, but I know it is the Count. And it is up to us to drive a stake through his heart Harriet, will you hold him down as I put the stake through his heart? I, Ryan McCavery, of the McCavery bloodline, will you hold him down? Yes or no? Yes! Yes, whatever you say. I only wish that I could be like, like somewhat as important as you are. And if that means you have to smoke from a pipe, you have to smoke from you a pipe. You have to smoke from the pipe. Take the pipe. <laughs> I don't have to, you <laughs> do. <laughs> you smoke it. Uh, white die. <laughs> the uh, OBS f crashed for a second, but we're back now. Uh, I have just given Ryan McCavery a white die as he was trying to get uh, Harriet Goodblood to smoke a pipe. So you, <laughs> you didn't me? get any of my excellent no, space work No, sorry, with a pipe. we didn't get okay. any of that. Well, I can't remake that half, but it was just gold. It was perfect. Remind Dude. me on the rules. I give my die to somebody else, right? Once the scene's done, in, in Act gotcha. 1, you gotcha. give it away, yeah. Gotcha. Um, all of a sudden, Ryan and Harriet hear, like, weird groans coming in uh, from, from the house. Uh, <laughs> Hold it together! <laughs> I want you to know something. We're going to walk into that house, huh? and you're probably not going to survive. <laughs> oh. But, uh huh. you will die with honor. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. No, the McCabries are not known for their sensitivity. <laughs> At least Are you, you were able to anticipate that I needed some. Yes. Have you finished? Would you? Are you sure you don't want a little bit of this pipe? I've already partaken. Okay. Good. Then let us let the hunt begin. Hey, Ryan. Yes. Yes, Harriet. Thanks. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> uh, I'll give it. I'll give it to Jess. Nice. 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 No, it's not, it's not, it's yes. All right, uh, that makes it Jess's scene. Maybe okay. it just continues from there, I yeah, don't know. I <laughs> uh, or not. Fast forward. Oh. The gate, you see us exiting the house. We have found nothing. It was uh, completely uneventful. The count wasn't there. Uh, I, I, I wasn't killed. Ryan uh, didn't get to do anything. <laughs> and we are on the steps it's about you know 3 or 4 a.m and i i'm i'm so sorry ryan i feel like it's my fault like it it felt the energy of me like being there is it me am i a bad sidekick harriet i i am the leader of the hunt and i thought with the blood ritual that i performed that this was it, this was the place. All signs are pointing to this house. If I get this wrong, I could be expelled from the McCavery family. What am I going to do? Hey, Ryan, look. Isn't that Chad's 69 Stang? I, I guess. Well, what would it be doing here at the end of a cul-de-sac where the town knows that it's a haunted house or you know story well, to be 
rumor has it that Chad, the nuisance that he is, likes to have these crazy sex parties in abandoned homes. <laughs> so I, I would guess that he's probably up to no good. Oh, wow. That sounds really awful. <laughs> and that's what it, Harriet, that's what it is. What? What? Sex parties? Is that what we're supposed to do? <laughs> this casual fornication has interrupted the sanctity of the vampire's lair. Oh, is this some sort of Christian thing that I didn't realize I was setting up for? I'm a Protestant, Harriet. <laughs> also Christian. <laughs> 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 That's true, actually. I fucked up my own joke. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> well, I'm Please Lutheran. be specific. <laughs> okay. In fact, I'm a Quaker. I don't know. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even have an opinion, Ryan. So you think we need to break up their sex? in order to make sure that the Count is there next time? I think we will need to interrupt their casual fornication. How are you at dealing with nudity? Fine. <laughs> White die. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give it to myself? I'm kidding. Uh, we're gonna give it to, to Ben, Ben, Ben. Okay. Um, cool. And I'm not I'm not sharing it every time with you guys, but I'm showing it to the folks at home. But if you want to see OBS the dice, is. let me know. Yeah, I just don't want to mess around with OBS too much. Um, okay, Huber, Lenny's uh, second scene of Act One. Um, as I sprint through the heavy tree line in, in the woods, I come out into a backyard I've never seen before. And there's quite a commotion going on inside. So I, you know, walk up, bang on the door, and a naked man answers. <laughs> a naked man? A naked man answers. Okay. And says, Who the hell are you? I, I, I uh, uh, sorry, I'm Lenny. I'm Lenny. And you're not here for the orgy, are you, son? <laughs> I, don't think so. <laughs> I, I just need to use. I need to use your phone or something. Something has happened over at the uh, the the what house? Were you what messing it? around at the Twilliger house? Twilliger, the you Twilliger damn kids house. in that house. What is your obsession? I don't. Why can't hey, are you, you sure you don't want to come in on the orgy? Because we did. One of the people that was supposed to be here didn't show up. Well, hang hang on there, Marvin. Uh, how old are you, son? That's a good question. You're always thinking ahead. Yep. How old are you? 18. You had to think about that for a long time. I think <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> uh, he, he shuts the door. <laughs> Shit. Look, I just need to use your phone. All right. Oh, oh, oh. As I... <laughs> oh, yeah, Marv. <laughs> oh, yeah, Steve. <laughs> I, uh, I see something in the distance. It looks like... Oh, these hillbillies are just <laughs> having an orgy. <laughs> I see something in the distance in the trees. It looks like a, a, like a shadow, but it also looked like a woman in a dress. And, and I go to investigate. <laughs> you... Who, who goes there? <laughs> the, woman, the woman doesn't respond <laughs> but you hear a loud like creaking sound like uh, I get on my phone which which still has no service no battery like, damn it let's check my phone who is it who's there reveal yourself <laughs> come closer <laughs> I suddenly want to come closer so I wander into the woods. Oh my god. Scene. I wander <laughs> deeper into the woods. <laughs> That's a black guy, I guess. Yeah. 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 Um I'm gonna throw that Ben's way. Nice. Wait, do I give black die away as well or Yeah, yeah, yeah. you give you give in act one all the dice. In days. act one all the dice okay. go away. 
Um, okay. Uh, all right. It is the next day at school. <laughs> Billy Orgy. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's what was hey, happening. I kill billies yeah. have sex too. Yeah. Yes, um, they do. But in like a suburban high school neighborhood. Squeal, piggy. <laughs> uh, all right. So it's the next day at school. It's lunchtime. Benji is sitting alone um, at a table at lunch. Normally, Lenny would be sitting with him, but Lenny didn't show up for school today. And for some reason, Chad is uh, sitting at the other side of the table, the circular table, and there's like a, a little comedic beat where we're both kind of just like sitting there awkwardly in silence. Chad has like a box of chocolate milk in front of him that's open and like some chicken nuggets, but he hasn't touched any of it. And uh, I'm just sitting there and then I like slowly eat a chicken nugget and I'm like... He mimics you? Yeah, except he, he doesn't... Put, yeah, he just, he just puts, puts it, it up to his mouth. Yeah, and then brings it back down and I'm just like... so. Ch- Chad, why are you sitting over here? You don't usually sit with me. Uh, have you seen Lenny? Chad? Like, some, some like, skin on his cheek is kind of, like, sagging down, you know? And I'm just like, um, cool. Ch- Chad gets up and leaves the room. Are- okay, bye. Uh, gee, I gotta... F- I gotta call Lenny. This is not right. I, I pick up my cell phone and try to call Lenny. Ring, uh, again, ring. You, hear, you hear the sound that Lenny initially heard as he was walking into the woods. <coughs> is it coming through the phone or in the room? In the lunchroom? Through the phone. Through the phone. Oh. <laughs> That's so freaky. Oh my god. What the hell? Hello? Hello, Benji? Y- 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 who's this? It's Harriet. Harriet? I, I. I'm looking at you. You called my phone. Oh, what? No, I, I'm, I'm like literally sitting across from you. Hi. I look. I look at my phone and it says Harriet, and I was like, I. Sorry, I could have sworn I called Ken Lenny K. Uh, hey, hey, losers! Oh! Lenny, don't do that. <laughs> no, no. This this was a this was the classic time for a '90s jump scare. So I'm just <laughs> it like. Worked. Oh. I'm a I'm a big jock and I I just screeched oh, up to oh, you guys. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey James. <laughs> See you later, losers. Oh, I hate that guy. Oh. Anyway, yeah. I'm beginning and end of James. <laughs> what? <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> yep. uh, See you James. I'm if sure if your brother was here, he would have all the jokes to say about him. Cuz that's okay. What? Where is your brother? Nope. I mean, where's Lenny? Well, I don't know where my brother is either, but I don't That's, know where Lenny oh, yeah. is. Well, I was with your brother last night, but like nothing Wait, like that. We were oh. no, we, nothing like that. Like because no. we were wondering when you were gonna. Is there anything going on there? Or are you guys just friends? I mean, it's none of my business. He's a man now. He got branded by our weird grandparents. <laughs> our grandparents yeah. kind of raised uh, us after our parents died in that fire. Sp- you know Harriet. what? Oh, oh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> Yes? Am I late for something? <laughs> I need to address Benji. Hey, oh. Ryan. You know that our family consists of hunters? <laughs> yeah. You are too young to know. Oh, You're not ready yet. Is this because you've been running with the wrong crowd? But, well, Look, Ryan, I don't I, see why it's a problem that he knows about slaying, because I think we can use all the help we could get, especially with the sex orgies. Well, yeah, Ryan, I meant to tell we you. We do I need found... help with the sex orgies. I... There are sex orgies? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm getting distracted. Harriet, last night, didn't you feel the fear of God in your soul? Oh, yeah, maybe. And the only thing that dampened that fear was the smoke from that pipe. Do you think Benji is old enough, A, to handle that fear, and B, to partake from the pipe? I mean, um, I, I tried a cigarette one time. You I, did? Yeah, I, well, I met these these kids. They were, you know, nobody, most people aren't really nice to me. Lenny's my only real friend, you know, and he and I have been trying to do paranormal like, in- investigation because I found a book under Grandpa's bed um, about how our whole family is a bunch of slayers, and I thought, well, hey, I should get a head start on that because I knew you didn't, 
I, I heard that you maybe didn't want me to know about that. And ever since mom and dad died in that fire, I just thought, like, I want to impress you and live up to the family name and stuff. But, I'm, you know, how I'm kind of a scaredy cat. And so I didn't want to, like, not know what I was doing. So I started going with Lenny on these paranormal investigations, like, we're trying to Benji. catch a ghost on video. Yeah. What do you think if, if, if our mother, Agatha, was here right now? Oh. What do you think she would say to you casually trying a cigarette? Well, I think she would probably yell at Dad uh, and say something like, God damn it, Fern, this is all your fault. You're a bad influence on the boy. And then I would go, no, Mom, it's okay. And then she would go, you shut your goddamn mouth, you little gay bastard. And I would say, Mom, I don't, I don't know, I'm like seven. And then, and then she would hit me. Um, in, a, in a surprising act of compassion... Ryan places his hand on Benji's shoulder. Benji just immediately says, starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, Ryan, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I knew about the book, and I, I just, I, no one here at school is nice to me except for Lenny, and now he's missing, and I'm really worried about it, and the only other kids that were nice to me gave me that cigarette, and I just wanted to be cool, but they were like punks or something. We were hanging out under a bridge, and it was really weird, and there was like a Hold cave. On. Lenny's missing? Lenny's missing. That's what, that? trying, that's what I was trying to tell you, and like, my mom always used to hit me, and she thought I was gay. Which no, like, that's not the I important. Am. The important part is that huh? Lenny's missing. I mean, Harriet, that's one of the important things. I'm having a little bit of a moment here. You're absolutely right, Ryan's and I see that you are sharpening your hunter senses before. right before my very eyes. <laughs> Benji, yeah. I want you to know that I care about you, and oh the best God. thing that you can do right now, <laughs> stay put and stay safe. Okay, okay, we will Ryan. find Lenny. And we will take care of this madness. Thanks. Are you and Lenny dating? Uh, I, I don't think he, I don't know. I think he's kind of cute. I, I read don't your know. diary. You're dating. What? We kissed one time. <laughs> Funny I that think this he was also the kid. cigarette night. Huh? It was. He was there. He knew, he knows the punks. Harriet, why are you, where'd you get, did they have candy corn today? <laughs> I like I always have corn. a bag. Oh, that's your own candy corn? Uh-huh, I make it. You make it? Uh-huh. You're so cool and popular. No. <laughs> well, you're cool to me. Benji. Huh? We saw Chad Russell's 69 Mustang. Yeah, they were at the house, and they all exploded in a bunch of blood and guts, and then, and then Lenny they and I ran away. exploded in a bunch of guts? What? We were going to go investigate paranormal investigate in the house, and then... Uh, Chad and his stupid high goons went in there. Like three other kids, four other kids went in there with him. You know the seniors, those those, those super cool and popular guys who smoke weed and have sex all the time and do orgies and whatever. And he has I got that '69 stag, and he made a joke about '69, but I don't know what that Ryan. is. Ryan, huh? I wonder if any of these kids has any connection to the count. If only we could look at some. The count? Records. Ryan, Ryan, I think you're right. That Benji is too young for this. He's making up stories now. Look, Chad's right over there. He didn't blow up. Well, that's... Why would you lie to me? Well, no, here, that's... After all of the sympathy that I just showed you? No, but... No, but... Don't you know how serious our work is and you're <laughs> lying about <laughs> bodies blowing no. up? And I, I bet you Lenny's it. even not even missing. He's probably just sick again. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny's walks, always sick. Lenny walks in looking weird. Lenny, hi! Lenny are, you, Lenny, are you okay? Benji, I am going to make sure on our parents' <laughs> grave that you will never become a hunter. All right, black tie <laughs> for Why? me. God damn it, I this every time. Black tie for me. <laughs> okay. All right, Ryan, I'm sorry. I won't, I won't hunt any, anything. Lying gets you nowhere, Benji. I'm not- Lying sends you straight to hell. Oh man. Well, that's a little okay. <laughs> and then Lenny or Benji gets an upset tummy and runs to the bathroom scene. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> ben scene. Oh yeah, I'll give I'll give that to uh Ben for or actually, I don't know, I'll give that to Huber for the James jump scare that <laughs> totally worked on me. <laughs> hey, losers! James <laughs> leaves. <laughs> James leaves. <laughs> I, I literally jumped. All right, uh, Ben scene. What, what is Ryan up to? Boy, what is Ryan up to? 
<laughs> I loved that scene. That was. We're wonderful. at the library. Oh yeah, you needed to research. Well, I was trying to throw the school records in there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to throw that in there. Um. No, we're not at the library. We are. It's. It's after school, and uh, Ryan has done his own research, but he tasked Harriet with finding out information on the the high school orgies so they could stop them so they could maybe like purify the, the Was that her idea? maybe the cat will come back <laughs> Harriet were you able to get any information no <laughs> no uh, it's just, just so much that I haven't been able to there's just so much a report like you would need like there's different positions and different people that they could have sex with in order to to, to some we, we don't need to we don't need to know any of that area we don't need to know the details we don't care about the details we're not sex hunters we're <laughs> vampire hunters <laughs> we just need to know where they're having it that's it that's all we need to know well that's right here they're having sex in the library? <laughs> no, no, it's in the first page of the book that I looked up. It was next to the official makeout book of um, Sanguine High and uh, the, the playbook from the rival football team. But this is just a written notebook of like different sex spots for uh, popular kids that I found it. Ariet, what is the first no, excuse me. What is the fourth rule in the Cavalry Vampire Hunter rule book? Make sure that if you find something that it's always Ryan's or it's always it's always the hunter. It's always the slayer who that, who should be that's, credited. That's that's our personal rule, but in the official book, the fourth rule is no porn. No, nope, you're essentially consuming pornography, and you're tainting McCaffrey name. I, I'm trying to study for a test over here, Derek. I'm trying to kill vampires. <laughs> you're a fucking loser, Derek. <laughs> you're gonna take that, Derek? Go watch Lost Boys. Get the hell out. <laughs> yeah, Lost Boys it's a good movie. Yeah. It's a good movie. I have Lost Boys on Blu-ray, bitch. I agree, Derek. That's a good movie, man. Ah. <laughs> Just I'm out of here. Don't let him get you, man. No, no, you got You need to study, dude. I'm tutoring you for this goddamn t j nose and down. From what man. I understand, you need to study really hard, Derek, because you're going to fail Derek, out. Look, Derek doesn't need this, okay? I'm tutoring him. You know, just leave him alone, all right? Harry, yeah. Harry, we're not Read making any porn. headway here. We, Do whatever we need to go. you guys are doing. Let's go, let's go back to the house. Maybe there's something that we missed there. And uh, Harriet, like, stuffs the booklet under her shirt. Uh, as as they sorry my cat, as they uh, leave the library, Ryan uh, looks at Harriet and he says, "Hey, I just want you to know, I love you too." <laughs> what did you say? The I sky. Look, let's just the forget sky. that happened. I, I just I just wanted to say how you handled Derek back there was <laughs> pretty cool. Sorry, I don't want to come over me. <laughs> no. You showed uh, showed a lot of guts. You know, Derek's a lot bigger than you, and you really stood up to him. <laughs> Proud of you. White die for Ben? <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's go back to the house. <laughs> okay. See. Nice. I love how... What Jess, did you say? Jess was the one who was trying to prove that platonic friendships are possible. <laughs> that doesn't mean that she doesn't love the Slayer. Sure. Uh, uh, I'll give that to, to Jess. Okay. Get all that white dice. Yeah, Jess has three white dice. Um, all right. Jess's turn. Final scene of Act One. Here we go. What's What's going to happen? So we've gone back to Ryan's house. We did some more research. Ryan's house Every or the Twilliger house? Is that where we were going? I um? forgot their name. So it is the Twilliger house? Yeah. Twilliger, yeah. Okay. Is that where you meant, or did you mean your house? I meant uh, 
the Terwilliger house. Okay, maybe there was okay. something we missed, is what I said. Oh, okay. 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 Um, they decide to split up. Harriet's on the upper level. Ryan's on the bottom level because he probably is like sure that if there's a count there, it's going to be downstairs or in the basement in like in its own dirt. Um, and as Harriet is like, perusing the upstairs and she's scared she's like not doing well but she's like trying to like steal herself she's like running her hands over like the silk bedding and like like fluffing the pillows but like still checking things and she just like look at the the porn book every now and then and <laughs> put it back and and all of a sudden she um here's something like a one floorboard creak and she's like ryan and it's not ryan it's Chad. <gasps> hey. Hi. What are you doing here, Chad? Hey. Okay. Sorry, you just scared me. Like, a lot. Did you see Ryan on your way up here? Hey. And he, like, <laughs> starts <laughs> uh, moving way too slow and, like, but like really like laser beamed on Harriet. And the more he advances, the more I'm like, okay, Chad, this is really funny prank. I know you're the cool guy. And he's not saying anything now. And he's like advancing upon her. And the, he, that, that he gets so close that like it forces her back onto the bed. And he's like about to, uh, uh, take advantage of her and she goes no please Chad not like this I mean maybe like this but not like this and and your my screams uh, alert Ryan what's Chad going on <laughs> Ryan he's he's possessed or something and she she runs and uh, like pushes Chad aside and as she does he his body hits like part of the nightstand and like rips away the sloth, soft flesh so it's like you start seeing like parts of him like pull out of his body. Oh my God, Ryan! Harriet, stand back! Chad is cursed. <laughs> like us? <laughs> what? I think exactly like us. Kill him! He lunges for Ryan. Uh, Ryan uh, uh, has has a knife that he pulls uh, from his pocket. It's a switchblade, and he flips it open. And he's getting ready to attack, and he takes one step back, and he actually ends up falling over on his back. <gasps> and uh, Chad is on top of him. And is about for to. Life. Is about to also take advantage of Ryan. <laughs> Chad. Chad. <laughs> Chad barfs blood all over his face. Why does it feel so good? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And just then, all of a sudden, Chad is like, hey, and like falls limp on top of Ryan. Oh. And you see Harriet. <sighs> Ryan just starts frantically stabbing Chad. Yeah, you did it. You killed him. <laughs> you did it. Ugh. Harriet, <laughs> help me bury the body. We have a we have a space for bodies in the in the McCavery Manor. The the body starts to like liquefy, and the blood like ah! just seeps back down through the floorboards. The blood curse. If Chad got it, soon this whole town will have it. If any blood made its way into the soil, it'll spread like weeds. <sighs> Harriet, what are we gonna do? Black dye for Jess? I don't know. <laughs> See? <laughs> Love it. Uh, who do you want to give your black dye to, Jess? I have uh, no idea what this uh, fucking curse is. No one needs to know. Um, yeah. Not yet, at least. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give it to Benny. Oh my god. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, so that is the end of Act One. Uh, Fun act. Huber's got two <laughs> black dice. I've got no dice. Ben has one no white dice. and two black. No dice. And Jess has three white. Um, so now we do the teal. So teal. Teal. So that'll be Huber. I and want to tilt away. <laughs> Jess, actually. Um, Huber, you've got the higher number. Do you want to pick a big category or a little category? I want to pick a big one. All right. Uh, you <laughs> have available to you one. one, two, four, five, and six. Uh, so one is mayhem, two is trag- tragedy, four tragedy. is guilt, five is paranoia, and six is failure. Trag- cra- tragedy. I feel like we always choose mayhem, but this is pretty chaotic. Yeah. It is, yeah. So I'm going to go with mayhem. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's That a was one. so incongruous. <laughs> All right, so Jess, uh, you have a two, four, or five, or six out of, um, wait, wrong tab, mayhem. An out-of-control rampage, a frantic chase, a dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose, magnificent self-destruction, cold-blooded score settling, or a misdirected passion. And what can I choose? Two, four, five, six. Six. Misdirected passion, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, just, just a... Just a what? <laughs> oh, just to make it clear that... Yeah, yeah. All right, so the tilt is mayhem, misdirected passion. All right, what shall become of our intrepid high schoolers in Act 2? Find out right after this. Ah! Act 2, here we go. Lenny, where the hell are you, man? (laughs) Yeah, where is Lenny? (laughs) What's we going have no on? idea what, what happened? happened to Lenny. In the <laughs> yeah, I know. Woods. I love it. So Lenny is extremely thirsty. It, uh, Literal thirst. Okay. <laughs> For sex. <laughs> so thirsty. <laughs> Just this, and this hunger, this like overwhelming hunger he feels. Benji. What? Ah, Lenny, where'd you come from, man? Where have you been? Benji, I... It's been like a day and a half. Nobody's seen you. You weren't answering your phone. I was worried. Ryan oh. hugged me, kind of. I started I crying, and then I got diarrhea. I don't really know what happened. Yo, can we get some food? Can, yo, where's yeah, the food? Let's... We're, we're in the cafeteria. We're in the food. Like the gym. Yeah, let's go over here, man. I just they had chicken like, nuggets inhaling. yesterday. Just shoving all this food into my mouth and like drinking. Whoa, dude! You didn't. Even, you gotta pay for it first. <laughs> oh, Lenny, are you okay? I just throw it up all, all over, it. all over, <laughs> Lenny, all over, Benji. all over you, all over yeah. your face, oh, your Lenny shirt, oh. pants. That's all your right. Shoes. I keep an extra set of clothes in my locker because Chad and those guys would would give me swirlies all the time. Hey, uh. somebody gonna clean that up? Yeah, you are! And in that moment that the the uh, the janitor that I just yelled at comes and sweeps it up. What the hell? And Benji just like watches it. Why'd yeah. you yell at that man and why didn't he get mad at you? Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. He's just sweeping it up. I, this is, this is the happiest I've felt. Cleaning up vomit before. It's very strange. <laughs> um, hey, let me. Yo, I gotta get. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah. I I go to the bathroom. Yeah, I I go in and I knock on the stall. Lenny, are you, are you all right? Yeah, yeah just give me a sec. Lenny, you. Um, lose my, my tooth falls out. I hear it hit the floor. What was that? Just a quarter. Dude, uh, sounded, you know, I still it, use coins. I don't know. It's it's it twenty twenty, but I'm still. It didn't It sounded more like like a them. like a marble or something. It was just coins, all right. Slam on the door. Okay, I I guess it was coins. Oh, Lenny. Sorry, I just got a little carried away there. I just everything feels. 
hey. Everything feels so heightened right now. And right after that, uh, you, uh, someone puts a hand on your shoulder. Me? Lenny? Oh. Yeah? In the stall? Lenny? Oh, is it in the bathroom? He's I didn't in the realize. bathroom stall. Yeah, I'm in the Never bathroom stall. Never mind. Could have been. Oh, I just felt. Uh, the janitor comes someone. into the bathroom. <laughs> oh, hi. And he just kind of walks right past you and he uh, picks up the tooth and he goes, Drop this! Little Lenny. Uh, my eyes go bloodshot and I bite his neck. Ah! Uh, Lenny, hey, um, I think you've, uh, I, I gotta go. Benji, ah! Benji runs out of there. <laughs> I go back to feeding on the janitor. Uh, black? Just. D well, I guess you're getting what you want. <laughs> White dye? Yeah, I am, I am sucking the blood out of the janitor's throat and it feels good scene uh <laughs> benji um runs over to ryan uh uh or like ryan is in class and benji uh runs over and uh still covered in puke and um just like kind of like looks in the window of the classroom and tries to get ryan's attention and Harriet's like staring at him like a weirdo, but Ryan's like looking around and stuff. And then I'm like, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. And he doesn't notice me. And then I like, I like just like open the door of the classroom and I stand there. I'm like, hey, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, Mrs. Peterson. Um, but hey, Ryan, can I, um, what have I said about intrusions, young McCavery? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're not a fan of them. Not a fan, uh, to say the least. But, well, sorry, it's kind of like a, a medical emergency. As you can see, I'm covered in vomit. Um, if there was a medical emergency, the nurse would be with you. She, uh, she told me to come. Whether you like it or not, Teach, I help out my family. And Ryan defiantly gets up and starts walking out the door. Well, was Thanks, that a pointed? Ryan. Was that a pointed message at me? Is he aware of a time where I haven't helped help my family? <laughs> and and <laughs> Harriet gets up, doesn't say anything. Like she grabs her books clumsily and is like, "He doesn't mean anything by it." <laughs> and like Mrs. Peterson, follows. like sits down, like she's like looking really introspective. Um, Benji, what's wrong? Ryan, uh, something's wrong with Lenny. He's in the bathroom. He uh, tried to eat food and puked. Uh, then he, like, yelled at the janitor, and he did what he said without him getting mad at him. And then, uh, oh, yeah, and then he, like, bit the janitor's neck a bunch in, oh, in the bathroom. Oh, gosh, Benji! Oh, Ryan, we this is such a waste of our time. What? Harriet, no, this is... This is a vampire at school. This is no, like it's not. It's Benji dreams. trying to get in your good graces again after you chastised him yesterday in front of everyone in the cafeteria. <gasps> I'm not lying. You hear a scream coming from the bathroom. Benji just holds his hands up. See? Harriet, I may have chastised Benji as a hunter, but not as a family member. Benji, like, starts to tear up. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> No matter what you do, Benji, no matter how far you fall, and you have fallen. I just tried that one very cigarette. far. I just tried that one cigarette, right? You guys, it was the can lies. We just, can we just go? Right, this right. Is, we, should go. we should go. Harriet, bring the whip. The whip? <laughs> why does we, Harriet. The, the, why the is vampire smiling? killer. They are so excited. <laughs> You're kind of weird, huh, Harriet? <laughs> Anyway, sorry, we should go check on Lenny. Let's go. Run, run. We, uh, we're running out of time. Um, you guys want to give me a white or a black dye? Cause white, 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 white. Yeah, okay. definitely white, yeah. So we open the door to the bathroom and... Uh, I'm Lenny, gone. Lenny, no, Lenny's there because it's a white dye. Oh, okay, yeah. If there was a black dye, you would be gone. Got it. Uh, okay, there he is, Ryan. Uh, the janitor is <sighs> dead. You're like, yeah, feeding on the janitor. Lenny. Uh, I think someone followed us out of that house, Ryan. I think we got followed by that blood ghost or whatever. Harriet, I thought we were friends. Don't listen Lenny. to him, Harriet. There's no time for words. Harriet, Harriet. hand me the whip. And she, she's just holding on to it very tightly. Harriet, Lenny, you're my best may friend. I strike true? Lenny, Shh. wait! Because <laughs> I didn't let go of it, you threw me with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harriet is er, flying towards you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lenny! No! Lenny. 
catch her. <gasps> Lenny, don't. Lenny. Lenny. Maybe I loved Harriet. you this whole time and I didn't know it. Harriet, I'm Lenny, so sorry. We're, we're best friends. We couldn't be more than that? I thought no. you loved me. Well, you never showed, you never encouraged it. Lenny at least knows how to catch me when I fall. I throw Lenny at the crowd Lenny, and just wait, you. Harriet. Wait, Harriet, I throw <laughs> Harriet. Wait, what crowd? <laughs> what crowd? At, all, at you, at you both. Are you okay? <laughs> I throw, I, yeah. I, Benji tries to catch her because he knows she would like that, but he's like small, so she just like lands on it, crumples down to the floor. And I flee. Lenny. <laughs> Are you okay, Harriet? I think I got a concussion. Oh what just happened? I think... I think Lenny was using his vampire charms. Lenny's a vampire. a vampire? When did you see Lenny? Oh Wait. Oh my god. That wasn't Lenny? That was Lenny. I think she's been mesmerized. She can't remember anything. Harry, you've been you've been mesmerized by a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I read about that in Grandpa's book, <laughs> along with blood rituals. And uh, there's only one way to end a vampire's enchantment, though. Uh huh. And that is to put the vampire down. Kill Lenny. Yeah. Well, he's not Lenny anymore. <laughs> scene. <laughs> that was my scene. Uh, <laughs> now it's now it's Ben's scene. <laughs> Um, okay, so <laughs> we're trying to find Lenny to put him down while also being afflicted with a curse <laughs> that is infecting the rest of the town. <laughs> <laughs> and using the school's admin passwords. Right, which you we haven't done I, at all. You and I are in the library school trying to figure out where <laughs> Lenny lives because no one knows. Yeah, he never tells me where he li He never told me where he lived. I think he's got like trouble at home. Uh, I know all about that, right? Right, Ryan? <laughs> Harriet, uh, still just covered in drying puke. <laughs> I should probably Harriet, go change my clothes. Putting our personal feelings aside for just one moment, and the fact that you were enchanted by a vampire, and I may not be able to trust you at all. There was something on your hunter application that really stood out to me, and why I picked you over the many other applicants. Was it the hearts over my eyes? No, it's your hacking ability. <laughs> I'm going to need you, and I'll have to watch you the whole time to make sure the vampire charm doesn't do anything strange to you. But I'm going to need you to hack in the school's computers so we can find out where Lenny lives and put him down. Can you do it? <sighs> Harriet, respond! Yes. Can you do it? If I have to. You don't have to do anything, Harriet. I just hope that you would for He'll me. Kill me. It's me, Harriet. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She like starts to get to work and she's like really, 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 really conflicted. But like she does like get we're, we're in the principal's office now. Yeah, hundred percent. It's also like seven PM. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay, well it says here that the password for the principals okay, is is schnookums, but also Schnookums. Yeah, Schnookums. It's just I don't know. Maybe he didn't think anyone maybe you know, maybe it's his dog's name. And then if I want to get in through administration, here we go. There. You are an extremely talented hacker. <laughs> I think you should know that. All right. Benji, are you still there? You've been quiet this whole time. Uh, or most of it. Benji Benji walks back in. Yeah, sorry, I went to I went to go change. Um the the shirt is still covered in puke. Um yeah, I didn't I didn't have a shirt in in my locker anymore. I guess I got swirlied more times than I remembered, but I had new pants. Uh no new undies though, but I mean, I'm just kind of you know, those didn't get that much puke on them. So now I'm just wearing these these new pants and I got different socks, you know. 
So my shirt and my undies and my shoes still have puke Benji, on? shut the fuck up. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm sorry, Lenny told me to say that. It wasn't me. <laughs> Lenny told Wait, you? Lenny told you? What has Lenny been saying to you, Harriet? Lenny told me and to be shut honest up? with me. Why uh, should I be honest with you, Ryan? You're never honest with me. I am. I am painfully honest. honest with you, Harriet. Come here. And he grabs her and he dumps holy water <laughs> on, top of, on top of Harriet. Why are you doing this? Get out, demon! <laughs> Get away from Harriet! They're just making me wet! Harriet, I got the that. holy water should temporarily stop the vampire charm. What was Lenny saying to you? He says he wants to die. Probably does. The pain he feels is immeasurable. Well, and the connection I had to him was probably the only last human connection he's ever had in his life, and you just take that away from him! Harry, we have no time <laughs> for your adolescent fatuation! You smack me? <laughs> oh, hey now, Ryan, that's not cool. Infatuation. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Um... <laughs> Benji, we're going to kill your friend because your friend <laughs> is dead. It is a vampire, and Lenny is inside of him, writhing in pain. Okay. Are you ready? We're Wait. leaving right now. We Wait. have no more time. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> See? They step out. They step outside. Oh. And they notice that the sky is blood red. It's uh -oh. supposed to be the evening, right? It's supposed to be pitch black, but the sky is blood red. Whoa. Is that a white? And they're heading to Lenny's house. White or a black? I guess you found the address, so it would be a white. Sure. Okay, we have one white die left and four black dice left. Oh, jeez. So we know this is going to go. Jess, it is your scene. So as we're, like, traversing to Lenny's house, uh, we let Ryan lead the way, and, and I hang back with Benji, and like, but also try not to smell him because it's pretty bad i smell but, like puke yeah yeah it's pretty bad um and i'm like benji i'm sorry if i ever doubted you but i have to show you something that i don't think your brother's ready to hear okay and she pulls out the porn book of the teenagers what what's that i assume this isn't your first no i mean foray into pornographic literature no i mean what are these two doing they're like facing weird like their heads are in each other's crotches what are they why are they oh, doing that's that 69 that's 69 yeah oh <laughs> i what did you think 69 was i didn't know i was just pretend i didn't know what it meant what are you talking about we're talking about how great of a hunter you are yeah <laughs> hey carry on <laughs> hey ryan no shh. oh never Benji, mind. this is my scene <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> I don't know. Because look, look at this right here on the page. On the page 69, uh -huh. it says that there is one way to lift the curse of the vampire. And it's 69ing? It's a different kind of sucking. What? Are you. Your brother is so religious that he won't even accept this as a potential lifting of the curse. But if this works, then we could save Lenny forever. Hey, Harriet, can I trust you with some information? I, um, yeah. you know how I said that, that, you know, our parents died in a fire and that our grandparents are weird and that uh, I got the secret book of the McCavery family, right? You um, said this multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, you know, they didn't really tell me about this, and I've kind of pieced everything together, but I have snat memory, like some memories from my parents when they got burned, and I think that there was like an angry mob there, and they burned them, and the book, it, it doesn't really read like a hunting book. It really feels more like a, kind of like a how-to, um, I, I think that, I think that the McCaveries might not, might not be hunters but they might be um i think my family might be i don't know like evil or um i think we might be the the bad ones i don't really know i don't know if we're vampires or hey benji and she huh? grabs you by yeah. your shoulders 
in this world that's full of evil, sometimes it's okay to be the lesser of two. Well, y- yeah, but I think what I'm saying is I think we might be the, the greater well, of, of all of them. Cause that might have been your parents' story. Well, What's going to be your story? Well, I, w- I would like to stop evil, I, I, I guess. So that's all that matters, Benji. And I guess and if you there's know something what? hunting us I, from that house, I don't want that to be happening. But I think my brother might have caused it. I don't know. Well, then, if that's how your story ends, then that's how your story ends. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess. But so what you want to do is put your face in Lenny's genitals? Well... And, no, and suck I'd rather do that to you. I'd rather do that to your brother. No, but but I think, how's that going to stop Lenny from being a vampire? Well, if your brother's bad, then maybe I could suck the bad out of him. And if <laughs> Lenny's bad, <laughs> you can suck the bad out of him. Well, I don't know if Lenny is really into that. And and if it's 69, you know, and if he's a vampire, like, I don't want to get my thing, you know, you know. Do you want to be evil or not? Bit off. What? Well, No. Then you have to sacrifice. Then I gotta something. I gotta sixty nine this vampire boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Do we want to call an audible and, and re- rewind this a little bit? <laughs> We're in it. <laughs> I, I, think, I think black die here. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, never mind. Everything I wrote was written by teenagers. Never mind. This isn't gonna work. I mean, yeah. Who knows the veracity of that book? <laughs> Oh, I guess we're just going to have to kill both of them. Hey, hey. Benji. Yeah? Whatever it takes. <laughs> uh-huh. Whatever it takes. Okay. We have to prove to the people that we love that we love them. Okay. I'll I'll tell them. Can you just take off your shirt? It's, like, not that hot outside. I, I'm kind of insecure <laughs> about my upper body. I don't really want to... Now's not the time for your petty insecurities. Petty? <laughs> He, like, starts crying. <laughs> hey. Huh? If that's the worst you're going to feel tonight, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> She's so full of pithy shit. Scene? <laughs> yeah. All right. Lenny's scene. Last scene. of Lenny's last scene of Act 2. Lenny, are you even at your house? Lenny is at the hillbilly orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting loose. <laughs> <laughs> Going to town, having a good time. And he feels better. Wait a minute. Is he having sex or is he eating? Yeah. Yeah, he's had sex. Oh, my God. Has he 69? He's he's (gasps) participated in the orgy. And he feels excellent. Has the vampire been 69'd out of him? He he no longer has the hunger. So he doesn't doesn't know for certain, but he's feeling good. Hey, son, that's (laughs) that's some good 69 and... (laughs) You did this. <laughs> you might only be 18, but you are experienced beyond your years. I'm glad we Clint checked your ID Troy. and let you in here. <laughs> yeah. Clint and Troy, you know, it's just there's no there's no Those uh, are just our sex names. <laughs> you know, it's it's a wonderful thing, uh-huh. you know, between uh consenting individuals, there's nothing to be ashamed of. And Absolutely not. I fella. am not ashamed. I am radiant. <laughs> You're beautiful. Yeah, you you have opened my eyes to to the beauty of something. <laughs> of something tonight. Well, it's, look, I uh, got to uh You're welcome. Yeah. I got to I got to make some calls and uh, I got to right some wrongs. So, I Well, just hey, so, hey kid, you don't have to come out to your whole family, you know, r- day 1. J- you know, give it a give it some thought. Hey, uh, hey Lenny. Yeah. We have this uh hillbilly orgy every Tuesday. You want to come back? Every we'll Tuesday night, in. yeah. It'd be an honor. It'd be an honor to uh, participate. On the second Tuesday, we do a potluck before the orgy, so if you could bring a dish, that'd be nice. Yeah, and I provide the Beano, because, you know. (laughs) Beano. I like your Beano face. I'll see you next week. (laughs) So I call Harriet. (laughs) You guys, it's Lenny. It's Lenny. Answer it. Answer Answer it. it. Take 
Stay calm. We're like Stay in. Calm. This we is like, important. We're in his living room. Like we broke into his house, and there's nobody there. Harriet, I'm heading to my house now. <laughs> will, will you meet me there? What's he say? Say yes. Say Whatever yes. Whatever you say. All right, Harriet. Look, some some things have gone down. I just need to tell you. It's and okay. Whatever you are, I accept it. That means so much to hear you say that. I am your slave. What? Harriet, no! Say that, Harriet? You're my best friend. You're not my slave. You're my so, best oh, you're friend, fake. Harriet. I get it. You're my best friend, and I will I'll see you soon. Damn it. I'm a few minutes away. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. Hey! <laughs> see you. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was a white die for a young <laughs> Lenny, I guess. 18 year old Lenny. Uh, he said that. Listen, old Lenny. This is yes. fucking good callback because he went to their house yeah. to begin with. They, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. writing. Uh, so uh, Huber got a white die for that one. He keeps it neck too. We've Ooh. only got black die le- dice left. And we've got three scenes left. There's my scene. Uh, we're at Lenny's house and the f- she- <laughs> Harry just hung up the phone. Uh, that was That was Lenny? He's coming yeah, he here? Was- you guys have to hide. And he seems like more possessed than he ever has been. And he sounded kind of happy on the. He sounded kind of Well, exactly. Happy. He's trying to entrance me further. And you guys, listen, if I'm going to do anything to protect the McCaffrey name, this is it. You have to hide and then jump on him and stake him after I tell him one last thing what whether he understands me or not. All right, I'll uh, I'll hide out behind the tree in the front yard. Uh, no, in the backyard. What? Because you don't you don't want to get the jump on him. You want to let him get in the house. Well, I'll come in after him. Pincer. Oh, pincer gotcha, thing. gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, all right. Sorry, so sorry. I'm outside, and uh, Lenny comes walking down the street, and just immediately smells the puke on my shirt, um, and Ooh. and he's like, Ooh. And I'm like, Hello? I look down at my stuff and at my, my shirt, and I'm just like, oh no, he smells my shirt. Harriet, he's not coming into the house. Uh, it must have been uh, those damn cats. And it I, smells like piss out here. I, I step out from behind the tree, uh, and I go, Lenny, hey. Oh, uh, Benji almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, man, <laughs> I got puked on earlier. Do you remember that? Kind of. Yeah. I, I I remember feeling ill. Hey, Lenny, I I just want you to know, um I know we you know, we kissed that one time, uh and I I really I just wanted you to know I it really meant a lot to me. That was my first kiss, you know, and and I I'm happy it was you, you know. Me too. He, he's charming he's charming my me too, Benji. Benji, this I have family. Care this for is you his like opportunity no to shine. You have to let him. Well, I, I care for you too, Lenny. Do you, Lenny? Are, I, I'm afraid that. <sighs> Look, I, I have some doubts about my family. First of all, but also I think that something in that house followed us back, and I think they turned you into a vampire because you you ate that janitor's neck pretty bad. And then you threw Harriet. Do you remember that? Yeah, but... You know, I, I, I ran into the hillbillies again. I went over there, and they taught me something. Hillbillies? They showed me... They showed me another side of life. And, and that you shouldn't be afraid. What? What do you mean? And just then, out runs Harriet, who has grabbed from the side hip of Ryan McAvery a stake and starts running down the pathway. Uh, I can't let this happen anymore, Lenny! And she's like, you almost see her in and slow-mo. And Benji uh, goes, no! And jumps <laughs> forward and pushes uh, Lenny out of the way and Harriet's stake just goes like right into Benji's eye, like straight Benji, through his no! head. And, and, and he's like dying and twitching and, and, and he just goes... Uh, as he's he looks up and he reaches for Lenny, and he just Benji! Ryan is running out. It, it tries to like cradle his his brother. 
He, Benji. Benji's like un, at least passed out, but probably dead. <laughs> Hard to tell. What have you done? Oh yeah, wait, I guess scene. Because <laughs> that was my scene. You'll never get away with this, vampire scum! <laughs> it's Ben's scene now. I, I was trying, I didn't mean, oh! Harriet, it's not your fault. Harriet, it's, I shouldn't have Harriet, it's not your fault! It's her, what do you mean it's not her fault? This vampire has been using his insidious blood magic against us this whole time, turning us against what? Uh, Ryan suddenly stops. His eyes turn red. Ah! Oh no! Ryan? The blood curse is getting me! <laughs> if I don't feed, I will be lost! Harriet! Give me your neck. No, Ryan, take me. <gasps> no, Lenny! I don't deserve redemption. The love of my life Wait. is dead. Just take me, uh, damn it. You're already a vampire! I was. But the hillbilly magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing control! Is the cure. I need to fight someone! Just, Just take then. me. Chad <laughs> comes up out of nowhere <laughs> and like grabs Ryan's head and <laughs> and snaps it. Oh my god! <laughs> well, it's black. Which doesn't black. work because he's a vampire. <laughs> so yeah, his head's just backwards now, but but Ryan's fine. Uh, but that causes Ryan to turn into a full vampire. Oh. But his head is backwards, and so he's like trying to address you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've become what I hate. <laughs> Kill me, Harriet! Pull the stake from Benji's eye. No, you kill me first. And end this. End me first, damn it. End us both, Harriet. You're the only one who can pay this price. It all rests on you. In the name of the McCavery family, <laughs> I make you a full-fledged hunter. No. I'm Harriet Goodblood, the true hunter. <gasps> and she grabs the stake from Benji's eye. And she turns to, like, face you, dead on, and, and, like, also stabs your eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, the heart, Harriet! We went over there! Oh, oh, okay, sorry! <laughs> I thought it was, like, wood anywhere! Okay, well, now I have an opportunity to say, Ryan, I did really love you. I loved you, too. Can't you just make me a vampire? Can't we just, like, do that instead? Scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jess is seen now. <sighs> uh, and, and just as she says that, uh, uh, Ryan turns past human form, like is about to like turn into his like darkest form, and there's no Ryan left, and and Harriet sees that, and you know take you know re resettles herself and <sighs> goes for the heart. Aims true. I but jump in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my scene. You did it. <laughs> Why? Thank you, Harriet. <sighs> it is a black die, so you technically shouldn't get what you want. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, this is all your fault, Ryan. And she like grabs the snake again, <laughs> looks around, <laughs> punches him, at, like punctures him in the heart. Chad this goes, <gasps> Chad goes, hey, and like tries to get there, but it's too slow. So he <laughs> doesn't even get there in time. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, actually, you read my mind. Um, stabs, I stab Ryan, viscera everywhere. Both Chad and I are like covered. And Chad, hey. Chad's a blood monster, so I guess he, like, just d dissipates into the ground. Sure. And, like, as that happens, 
as that happens, like the blood moon, like the red sky starts to like dissipate with it. <gasps> Ryan, are you still alive? There's no response. Did you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> what a baller move. Like, like their chat just going, there is no response. There's no response. <laughs> <laughs> no one's home. You hear Benji go, oh, oh, what happened? Benji. What happened? Why can't oh, oh. I see? Your brother. What? He killed Lenny. And then stabbed you in the eye so that you wouldn't see. My brother. And then I had to. Then then I had to kill him because he's a vampire. But does that mean I'm a vampire too? Not not inherently. But I think my whole family's vampires. That's what I was trying to tell you. Listen, there is good and bad vampires, and you to you now. There are good and bad vampires. <laughs> and she takes a snake and throws it into his heart. <laughs> the end? Harry's the only one left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. She's fucking done with it. <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, okay, let me figure this out. Uh, okay. So... <laughs> One curse. I, I correct your grammar and you kill me. <laughs> okay, so um, now we do the aftermath. So everybody take your dice and subtract whichever color number is higher out of whichever color number is all the way around. Subtract the lower one out of the higher one. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, and then just remember the color and number that you ended up with. So I have a black four for example um huber what'd you have here i got a white three all right so now we look at this aftermath table and your white three is grim grim yikes so read that as a as a, as a flavor for what you do and then give an the epilogue for your character the stress and trauma from your little adventure are going to haunt you forever bits of your soul are destroyed and you're missing a piece or two in a few years children are going to cry when you get too close all your plans have ended in complete ruin <laughs> um so my for my sins <laughs> my soul has been split and it's in multiple layers of hell whoa <laughs> that's and pretty good i'm Hold getting on. what are you suggesting your sins are yeah what murder. were your sins cold-blooded murder i suppose you did kill that janitor and i forced harriet to murder me <laughs> as well <laughs> against so, your own will yes you? yes uh so I am in hell, and it's very, very hot, and there's no air conditioning. You're a little redeemed though, because the the gay sex was just fine. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally fine. It almost that saved. On a high note. Well, this, that's the sad thing is that the hillbilly sex magic had cured you of your vampirism, mm -hmm. but none mm -hmm. of us knew that. So you you, you were killed as a human being. Um, okay, I had a black four, not great. Um, let's see here. Um, savage. Whoops. Savage, as in something is broken or mashed. Maybe you've got a permanent limp and a bad reputation. <laughs> plus, you totally I mean, fail. Your eye <laughs> is gone. Uh, my eye is gone. Um, and I am dead. <laughs> I was killed as a vampire. Um, turns out that, yeah, the McCaveries, they are all vampires, but sort of like a weird, weird, like, or our, our ancestors were human vampire hybrids so we're like halves we're like we're like weird mix race um like blade uh so we could day be good walker. or bad yeah we're day walkers um but i didn't know that so i thought we were bad um and yeah so i'm uh i went to like a I'm unsure if it's hell or heaven or like a medium place, um, but it's definitely strange and it's just kind of high school all the time. Ooh. Um, Ouch. And like the days never quite end, but it's not like terrible, you know? It's just like actual high school, except the days just don't stop. So it's like, you know, 
by the time I think I go home, it's like lunchtime again. Mm. Um, and then like, it took me a while to get to figure it out, but I, I think I'm in some kind of like purgatory. Um, all right, Ben, you had a whole bunch of dice, so I don't know what. Yeah, I have a white one. So oh, geez. it was 10 <laughs> white minus black nine. Okay. Wow. White one. Dreadful. Yeah. You are certainly dead, probably from a Perfectly self-inflicted wound. People you care correct. about are also probably dead. This is true. Maybe through your own stupid, ugly failure. Yep. To <laughs> say that you fucked up is an insult to fucked upness. You've redefined the term. So I think the, the worst thing that could happen to Ryan happened where he wanted to do right by his family name, right? And he wanted to, to further what he perceived as a great legacy. Um, but not only did that kind of die with him, uh, his family, the McCaveries, kind of became into these terrible monsters of legend that kids would tell each other um, and say like, oh, you better not be out on a, on a full moon night or the McCaveries will come and, and murder you. And so rather than being a great vampire hunter, the McCavery name was turned into like a, a monstrous legend. Oh, I love that. That's epic. Uh, okay, Jess, what number did you have? Black five. Nice. Is that good or bad? It's eh. no, oh, it's miserable. Yeah, it's oh wait, no, no, no. It's rough. Rough. Okay. You are getting whipped like a rented mule. For starters, you will be remembered for this. Ep- you will remember this episode for all your diminished days. The lesson you learn will be profound, lingering and painful mm. hey these are all like accurate <laughs> yeah it's pretty good um yeah harriet has to move she's <laughs> she's not she's not a suspect for any of the murders this it's just like another day in this town but like too much is weighing on harriet's soul she she goes from town to town trying to find the slayer in each town and somehow it ends up horribly every single time with her murdering the right and wrong people every time (laughs) Um, until she finally meets um, a very sexy vampiress and she's like please turn me and the vampire is like sure and then the vampire is just insanguinates her and kills her and doesn't turn her (laughs) love to see it um, I don't think I've ever been on a fiasco where I've had like a great ending. N- they're almost never happy yeah. endings, yeah. which is fitting. I think. Mm, yeah. Usually, like sometimes one character will get get out and have, you know, if I have my way, everyone ends up in like an endless screaming nightmare world or something. Yeah. Yep. Twenty twenty. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's twenty twenty, America. Um, apologies, of course, to. Uh, the vampire community, the hillbilly community, <laughs> the gay community, the high school communities. Uh, we meant no offense to anybody. Um, thank you so much, all of you. Thank you for watching or listening to this fiasco knots. We will be back at the end of next month with another episode. And because I forgot to do them in the latest episode of Reaction Shots, sorry about that, I will do the shout outs here. Uh, shout out is a tier on our patreon.com slash easy allies which is how all of this is possible and uh, shout outs is our top tier and this month it is El Thanis, Greg the Dark Knight Kettering Caleb Togi Crawford shout out shout out um, thanks again everybody and we'll see you next time on Fiasconauts bye bye